Hi friends, this is Ravi Verma, and in this video, I will be discussing the topic cell, the fundamental unit of life. So let us start the discussion. Look at these points. First, we will be reading these points, and then I will describe the meaning of these points in detail. So let us start. <clears throat> First point: Just as a building is made up of bricks, bodies of all living organisms are made up of small building blocks called cells. So, if we talk about all living organisms like plants, animals, microorganisms, human beings, then their bodies are made up of small building blocks. These blocks are called cells in the same way as a building is made up of large number of units known as bricks. Next point, meaning of the cell that is a Latin word is little room. Next important point is Cell is the fundamental structural and functional unit of life or living organisms. Cell performs all life functions. Here you see the term life functions. So cell performs life functions like nutrition, excretion, metabolism, respiration, sensitivity and response, growth and reproduction can be added to this list. So let us understand these points from these pictures. First of all, we will be focusing on this point, on this image. Here you can see, this is the image of a human baby. So if we talk about a human body or any animal body, it is made up of a group of organ systems. Here the image of this organ system, this is, this is an image of organ system that is known as digestive system. And every organ system is made up of a group of organs which perform a particular function. So what is an organ system? It is a group of organs which together perform a particular big function. For example, this digestive system is a group of liver, stomach, pancreas, intestine and these all organs together perform the function of digestion. So there are other organ systems in the human body like uh, respiratory system, uh, urinogenital system, skeletal system, right? So we can say that the body of any animal or human being is made up of more than one organ systems. Now let us move on to the organ. You know that the organ system is made up of different organs. Now what is organ? Organ is in turn a group of tissues which together perform a particular function in the same way let us take a tissue if we talk about a tissue you can see that this is also a group of small units known as cells so what is a tissue tissue is a group of cells which together perform a particular function this is a single cell so friends if we talk what is a cell if we discuss what is a cell then we can say that the smallest building block of the bodies of living organism is, is the cell or we can say that cell is the building block or the structural unit of life or living organisms. Now the question arises why the cell is called functional unit of life as we have seen in this statement. Here you see that cell is called functional unit of life. So let us answer this question. Why the cell is called functional unit of life? As you have seen that cells perform various life functions like nutrition, respiration, excretion, etc. So if you talk about a human being or any other living organism, it is a living organism because it has life. Now why it has life? Because there are certain activities, certain functions which are going on inside the body of any living organism. These functions are called life functions like nutrition, respiration, excretion, growth, sensitivity, response, reproduction. And you know that these all are performed by cells. So because cells perform life functions and because of these life functions, there is life in any living organism. And this is why the cell is called functional unit of life this is why the cell is called functional unit of life 
सो फ्रेंड्स द सो फ्रेंड्स द कॉन्सेप्ट इज क्लियर वाई द सेल इज कॉल्ड स्ट्रक्चरल एंड फंक्शनल यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक द डिफरेंस बिटवीन लिविंग एंड नॉन लिविंग सो इफ यू आर स्टार्टिंग द बायोलॉजी द स्टडी ऑफ बायोलॉजी एंड यू हैव टुक यू हैव स्टार्टेड विद द फर्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज द सेल द फंडामेंटल यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ this is very important to know what is the difference between living and non living so let us start dear students the living things are also called organisms while there is no non living organism but they are called just non living things so never use the terms living organisms and non living organisms that usually some students can do right so here you see the features of living organisms anything anything is living if these features are present in them so let us understand these features first point or first feature of living things is that they are made up of cells and cell products next they show metabolism next they perform life functions what are the life functions growth reproduction nutrition respiration excretion sensitivity and response on the other hand in non living things these all features are not present for example in non living things cells are absent metabolism are is not shown life functions are not performed but but non living things may sometimes show some activities which resemble reproduction and growth for example if we talk about a stone it may break into two parts and two new stones we can say two stones are formed this is an activity that resembles reproduction in the same way if some external material gets deposited goes on depositing on the stone its size will grow so we can say that this is similar to the growth so we can say that the non living things can sometimes show some activities which resemble reproduction and growth so dear students what is living living is that thing which shows all these features now let us understand what is the meaning of these features right this is clear that the cells the, the bodies of living organisms are made up of cells now what is metabolism dear students these all features in a living organism are performed by the help of some chemical reactions which go on inside their cells these chemical reactions which are undergoing which are taking place inside a cell are known as biochemical reactions and what is metabolism metabolism is the group of all these biochemical reactions so the biochemical reactions which take place in the living things are known as metabolism you can simply understand this now let us talk what is growth growth is the ability uh, of any living thing to increase in its size so living things uh, grow by increasing in number of cells or by increasing the size of cells next is reproduction reproduction is the process by which the living organisms produce their own kinds for example a bacteria may undergo cell division and make two new bacteria right or a hydra you have studied a hydra just undergo budding process and makes new hydra or the individuals of the same kind so this process is known as reproduction next what is nutrition my dear students for performing all these functions the cells of the living organisms need energy and they also need materials for build up of the cell or for growth so so the what is nutrition nutrition is the process of obtaining energy and materials and these two things are obtained by obtaining food by obtaining food so this process of obtaining energy and materials for growth and other activities in the form of food is known as nutrition next what is respiration <clears throat> so as you know that the living organisms obtain energy from food so the process of obtaining energy from food is known as respiration inside the cells of a living organism the food molecules are oxidized right or broken down and energy is released that energy is utilized
for doing different activities different functions of life next what is excretion during metabolism different types of waste products can be produced inside the cells of a living organism these waste materials should be removed out of the body so the process of removing waste materials from the body is known as excretion right for example during respiration a waste material carbon dioxide is produced so the process of removing carbon dioxide from the body will be called excretion in the same way during the breakdown of proteins or sorry the metabolism of proteins and other nitrogenous products some uh, toxic substances like ammonia urea uric acid may be formed inside the bodies these toxic substances should be removed and this process is known as excretion so excretion is the removal of waste and toxic products from the body now what is sensitivity you know all living organisms has an ability to detect the changes in their environment this ability or this process of detecting the changes in the environment is known as sensitivity and usually the living organism respond by doing some or the other uh, thing uh, to the changes of the environment this is known as response for example if somebody calls you from behind so you listen to the sound so if you can detect the sound this is known as sensitivity and if you do some response for example if someone one asks someone calls you and you turn around or you start speaking to him then this is the response or for example another example i can give that if you touch a hot plate then your 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 skin can detect that the the plate is very hot right this is known as sensitivity and immediately your hand zulks behind or you can say that the uh, your hand withdraws this is known as response so so this is all for this video um, yeah, please subscribe my channel and uh, watch the next video in which i will be talking you the next topics like uh, the discoveries and the cell theory size and shape and unicellular and multicellular organisms thank you for watching take care keep smiling